Hi, how are you? One of the most exciting times of my life was when I was on Broadway in Spelling Bee, and I was also full steam ahead with real estate. So we would do our Saturday and Sunday matinees, and then we would both get on the express train up to Harlem, show apartments in between shows with our show makeup on and our show hair, and then come back down for the evening show. And so we'd be showing apartments and they would be like, God, you, look, you just look so familiar. Did we go to camp together or something? And I would say, well, you know, are you in the theater? And they would usually say yes. And I would say, oh, I'm, I'm in the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. And then they would say, oh, I saw you in the show. I loved the show. And then their next question would be like, well, why are you doing this? You really need to do that? Um, and I would say, I actually, I don't need to do it, but I love doing it and I love this neighborhood. Hey, bike, bike person. This is a bike interview. You have a bike, so you're welcome. Can I ask you, if you had to describe Harlem in five words, what words would you use? My girlfriend lives here. You know, you've got to figure out how you're going to make it um, seem like a good deal for whoever you're trying to sell to. So listen, this is everything you have talked about wanting in your whole life. I think a lot of people mischaracterize brokers as being money hungry and doing the bare minimum to collect a big fat paycheck. Uh, what most people don't realize is that the median income for brokers in the city is $52,000. So these are people that are working class and really working to to make their money. And so you do sometimes a week's worth of work um, and you spend money on marketing and you spend money on cabs and maybe dinners and the client doesn't move forward for whatever reason. So people don't necessarily see that side of it um, and a good broker isn't deterred by that. They get up and continue to work because it does happen. It happens a lot. Excuse me. Can I ask you a question? Nope. Excuse me. Nope. Nope. Hey. Excuse me. Nope. 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 Excuse me. No. No. Can I ask you what you like about Harlem? Excuse me. Nope. Some people say, you know, I don't bite. I do bite. And I have bitten people before and I probably will again today. As, as a writer and a creative person, I try to look at the experiences that I have as um, inspiration for potential projects that I may do or the types of people that exist in the world when I'm writing characters or thinking about the way that characters interact. Um, I have had real estate experiences where I'm like, if I read this interaction in a play or I saw this in a movie, I would think that it is fake. When I first started in real estate, I was very nervous that if my artistic colleagues found out I was doing real estate that they wouldn't take me seriously as an artist anymore. They would think that I had sort of abandoned my artistic pursuits. And um, after a couple of years, I was like, there's no reason for me to sort of keep these two things separate. They, they can and they should feed each other. If you have the passion and you have the drive, it's incredibly rewarding to be working in these two different pursuits. Thank you. <laughs> have a good day.